to show you my new new little toy that I've got hold of. It's called a GoPro Hero camera. Only about the size of an old box of matches. Tiny little thing. Really good quality. Um, it comes with all sorts of attachments in different housings. One of which is this. It's a little underwater, totally waterproof housing. Beauty of that, the camera just pops inside, seals up, completely tight. You get all sorts of different attachments with the camera. One of which is a handlebar attachment, which just fits perfectly onto the end of a landing net pole, or roach pole, anything really. The housing just clips on top, and feed it under the water. As you'll notice, there's a little bit of underwater footage creeping in now. Um, but the possibility is endless, really. Playing fish to the net um, in the spring and in the summer, if you get fish in close, feeding you know on a margin spot. Uh, in theory, with a big long rage pole, should be at film. Um, and you can use a boat to actually go out there, put it in its waterproof camera, and stake it out on the bottom. It's remote controlled. It works on the phone on an app. You download an app onto the phone, and you can use the phone as a monitor. So. So in theory, so it's a new bit of kit, so I don't know its limitations yet, but in theory I can stake it out at the edge and watch what's going on on my phone. Um, you can also get a little headband, so you can clip it on like a head torch, so if you use it climbing trees, stalking fish, any sort of eyes on thing, just flip the button and I'll be able to film it. So uh, watch out David Attenborough. Hopefully as well, the waterproof camera, waterproof casing, I mean, even I can't break it. So, that remains to be seen because I can break pretty much anything. The snaps in there. Should be everything proof. They reckon it's shock proof because obviously they use this sort of thing to jumping out of planes, for skiing, for mountain biking, so it's very, very hard wearing. Waterproof, shockproof, just got to find out if it's Dave Lane proof. Good luck with that. Sort out my baiting up for the evening. Just a nice head. I'm going to stick some this hemp and tiger and boily mixture down there by the reeds. Two different sizes of baits there. I've got some 10 millers and some 18s. 
few growlers. A bit of him. Carp oh, love him. Found a little clear spot just off the edge of those reeds just there. Sprinkle four or five handfuls of this down there. Fish one in the margins. Got one about 25, 30 yards out, I suppose. Maybe about 20 yards out where I had the fish from yesterday. And the other two are going further out in the middle there. I've got one at about 105 yards and one at about 80 yards. And I'm just going to fish them on single so I don't get the impression that the fish are actually eating that much bait at the moment. It is December after all. Both the fish I had yesterday were on singles. So I'm just going to put a couple of bright ones out there. And little hard spots, clear spots in the weed. So that's my plan for the night. Right, that's the rod sorted for the night. It's Tuesday. It's about 10 to 4, 5 to 4, so it'll be dark in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, two close in and two at range on singles. Tried zigs today, tried all different ranges with pop ups. Tried a bit of everything really, but all to no avail. There's still just the two fish, but hopeful for the night, especially with the two new rods at range. Back on zigs, we've got till about midday, I suppose, tomorrow. Not seen a single fish today, despite it being dead fun. Wherever they are, they're staying well hidden. Well, as you can see, it's a foggy old morning. Wednesday morning, only three or four hours to go. No more fish apart from the two the first, first day. Is, well it's nice to get to, it's the only two fish that have been caught since I've been here, so a lot better than nothing, but I did think I might trick another one or two out. I haven't actually seen anything since the first day either. A little bit off-putting. Thought them two long rods might have done something between them last night. But all very quiet. Been a good little trip though. A couple of fish under my belt, got a feature done for Total Carp, uh, had a chance to muck about with my new GoPro camera and do a bit of underwater filming. Got an awesome shot, well you'll probably stitch it onto this video, but first time I tried and just put it under the water on a uh, end of a landing net pole, was just scanning about, couldn't see what I was filming, just sort of moving it left to right, and pulled it back out of the water, connected it to the phone to see what I'd got, uh, it's just a pike just appeared from the back of the reeds and went from right to left across the screen, just absolutely perfect. So I think I'm going to have a bit of fun with that over the coming weeks and months. But just the final countdown now till packing up time. Well, as you can see, it's still pretty damn foggy out there. It's now about half past ten. I'd normally be packing up now, but right behind me, there is the A14. And that lot ain't going nowhere. There's obviously been an accident or something. It's not surprising given the conditions. 
and that's the bit of road I've got to go out on to get home. As far as I can see, there ain't no point in packing up yet. I'd rather be sat down here with a chance of a bite than sat up there staring at somebody's brake lights. Not good. You can see just how close the road is now. It gives you some idea of why you can always hear lorries and cars in the background. And it is only just a few yards away. Not ideal conditions. Well, that's the end of this week's session. Uh, as you can probably hear in the background, the A14 started running again. Obviously cleared that accident. Where is the fog on the other hand? Uh, I don't think that's ever going to clear today. So I'm going to wrap everything up. Give it the last half an hour for the rods laid on the deck. Uh, and then head off up the road back to sunny Suffolk. Or foggy Suffolk as it probably is. Everything dried out, get warmed up, and loaded up, ready for next week. So, uh, until then, tight lines.